Gerber profile. Didn't pull that out today at all or use it. Um, but I have used it before. I've got videos on it. And I will eventually tear these scales off and then put something on there. Like nothing fancy did. I liked what he did with his. He had a chopper. Cord wrap his uh, handle on that thing. Now this. I have two things in here. In this little pack here. I have the cheap. Cheapy rope. This is what I'm going to use first. Before I break out the actual good 550 cord. Paracord. This is the seven strand cord. This is the good stuff. Um, and I will use this if I'm going to have to build a shelter or a lean to or something. I will use this up first because this is just a cheapy. It's still decently strong, um, but I always keep that handy with me also in, our, in this baggie here. I also have five paracord about 50 to 100 feet in my other pack too. So how much time do I have? I'm way over, so I'm gonna have to edit this into two different videos, which is no big deal. So I'll just keep the video camera going. Put some lamp notes at the top here. Like this, because this actually has access to the top of the pack also on each side. So I can get this big bad boy out of here. And here's the cold steel trail. Trailhawk? Yeah. Yeah, I said that right. Which, uh, more, there'll be more videos on this thing too. Still sharp as hell. So, yeah, there, there will be more videos on this also. So, I didn't get a chance really to do a whole lot with it today. But, like I said, more to come on this. This thing. But one thing I will do really quick is spray a tiny bit of WD 40 on that blade. It was out in the rain today, or the snow, I should say. And I'll take my finger and rub that around on there, which is just to keep the blade from rusting up, because it is carbon steel. Alrighty, that should do it. And the Becker, I'm going to do that also with. I don't think they need it. This is just to preserve that edge, so it's not going to rust on me when it's in the the sheath. I keep, I'm really anal about my knives, I'm sorry but I am. I don't like them rusting on me. Alright, those two are done. I'll throw them over those. Any knives that I usually take out with me, even if I use them or not, the exposed edge of the blade, I will uh, usually oil them up a little bit. Stainless steel or not. Stainless steel will rust if you don't take care of it. Most won't, some will though. So, once this gets up to about 20 minutes, I'm going to have to cut this off so I can edit it out. And in fact, I may just stop it here and edit it in three videos where I'm at 13 minutes. I'll just keep it so, this side is completely empty now. Um, moving on to this next side here, which was going to have. Good thick, thick wool gloves. That's lady gloves. In case I needed them. Camp shovel. It's actually a heavy one. I'm gonna be getting uh, probably a uh, Gerber. Not Gerber, but uh, the Glock uh, entrenching tool. I'm gonna have my K bar with me today. Now, like I said, normally I would not take this many blades with me, but today I did. So. Uh, I like to be prepared in case I uh, have a chance to do a lot of knife testing. Sometimes I don't. Like today, I didn't really have a whole lot of time to do a whole lot with with knife testing wise. It's more of a hiking day than anything. When you're doing this, please be careful. As you notice, I'm moving my finger away from the edge of the blade instead of towards it, so I don't cut myself. Not to say that I won't do that on camera, and that'll be a, a, a dumb at a do do my moment for myself but uh, let's just put that away then. Working on it, working on it. This will probably be a two parter, three parter I mean. Um, what else is in here? I can get to easily. This is where these rice come in handy to wipe the oil off your fingers. I also brought my uh 
cold steel kukri machete. I didn't use that today at all. No big deal. You're stuck with uh, watching me uh, oil up my stuff here. Just real quick like. Because like I said, you take care of your stuff and it'll take care of you when you need it. Same way with guns. If you take care of your guns, they'll take care of you. Take care of your car, it'll take care of you when you're out and about. I try and keep all my stuff in working order and I always check and double check stuff before I go out. Seven. Okay, I got my tack gloves with me. Just in case, it's always good to have them with me, you never know. What else is in here? Lots of goodies, man. This I also had here. We got a lot of fans of this one right here. My GI Tano. Cold Steel. Don't worry, I'll have more videos with this bad boy in it. Soon. Soon. It's more of a fighting knife than an actual survival knife, but it will fit that role very well, survival wise. And it is. I believe it's 1095 carbon steel that this one's made out of. Very nice. Um, look up my videos on this blade, my review. Uh, so far, so good. I haven't had to update it because it broke or anything. So I'm good on that. Another knife I wanted to try and test today, which, I'm, like I said, I didn't get a whole lot of knife testing done today. I did get some hiking done, but that's about it. Is my roach belly that I got for Christmas. For myself. I bought it for myself for Christmas. I bought uh, a bunch of them. Presents for other people also. There's my, my saw. This one also has. There's my roach belly. I didn't use it today. It was packed, tucked away in the back there. Sharp, 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 sharp. Very sharp blade. Look for videos on this one also. I mean, soon. Now, this. this Backpack will unzip on the side here, which I'm going to do here real quick because I also have a fleece uh, hoodie in here that I packed away in here. There. That I had rolled up in here. Fleece hoodie. And you'll come to find out that I'm a big Notre Dame fan. Whether they do good or not, I'm still a Notre Dame fan. So, fleece hoodie that I've had forever. It's warm, it's nice and thick. It, if it gets wet, it'll dry easily. That's, I believe that's all I had in this thing today. That is it. We are empty. Completely empty. So I'm going to do a quick pan around of everything that I had in here today. Completely empty right now. Oh, empty. Ah, stuff around. So then I can only do, I can do this in two videos if I hurry. Alrighty. So that's everything I took with me today. All that stuff went out there with me today. Not the dog toys. The dog toys were here. The kids won't let me take the dog toys out of the house unless they're with them. All those blades went, which normally I'd only take a couple, maybe a small survival knife like that Gerber profile and uh, a larger survival knife, maybe uh, a K-Bar or that the Becker or even the GI Tunnel. Depends on what my weight, my weight and what I want to carry with me that day. So, okay. I told you guys I was going to show you what I packed away in there, uh, packed out today. So that's what I took with me today. So, Oh, and my Leatherman, which is on the table here, was with with me, and my cell phone and my WD-40. All right, I'm going to run out of time again. I ran this over, so I'm going to have to edit this into two parts. So uh, thanks, guys. Uh, more to come in uh, 2010. Uh, see you guys soon. Bye.